the first classification uh, of distinct tools, we have single activity tools and multi or multiple activity tools. Okay, so what we mean by the single? Single, as we say, okay, the tools is designed for uh, one purpose of testing, of testing. For example, it's designed to generate the test cases. So this is, we say, is a single activities. And the multi-activity, which is um, in the other side, means that uh, the tools is designed for multi-activities. Uh, for example, uh, for example, for example, this, this tools, which is a unified function testing, very popular tools. Uh, it's used, for example, for uh, testing management, used for uh, recording, used for also uh, generating that is also even automation, it's good that is testing that is cases. So this is multiple, uh, multiple function, we can say. So there is, we have now single and we have multi. So when you select your tools, you should know, you should know about this point. Or also sometimes when you're looking for one tool, so you know that, okay, I'm looking now for one only to uh, generate the test cases, to execute the test cases. So you are looking only for that, so you can find that, for example. Okay, here one example, for example, I do mention it, which is, for example, Gini. Gini, it's one method one to generate the test cases only, generate the test case only. Another classification here, we have a uh, testing tool can be free, or not and or guys because some of them free and okay can we say we can say we can say and but okay free and uh, open source tool so this is uh, many methods now or many tools it's available uh, online and you can just get it free and of course this one it will not be uh, no support uh, maybe some problems with these tools. But some of them, it's uh, really good, really good. Uh, and I use one of them, which is uh, Selenium. So that one is, it's good, even it's open and free, but still very good tools and very popular tools. Maybe if you just search about the testing tool, you'll find this one is as a number one. Uh, and the other one is, is uh, commercial tools. So as I show you, this is this tool, a uh, Unify, which is also a uh, UFD, uh, this tool uh, from HP, it's also, it's, it's commercial tools. Also, it's maybe it's number one in, uh, in market because also it's uh, include many tools, many tools, and then you can use it for everything. Not exactly for everything, but there are many things. And some tools, in-house tools, some tools, they call it in-house tools, means that uh, this is the company, for example, develop that uh, tools, uh, and then they use it only, only the company use that tool. And some of them just maybe they use a free tools and then they enhance it or they add some some features and then they use that. So that's one. It's uh, it's for example company tools, company tools which is used by the company only. As we say, even either they develop that tool or maybe they use some uh, open source tool and then they add some features or maybe just maybe use it but okay for their own only. So here the three also is one classification, which is based on the cost, based on the cost. Of course, each one has some uh, advantage and disadvantage. For example, if, uh, as we see open source, uh, there is no support after use it, but here you get the support after that. Uh, here is more trust because some, some of them, they got some, we can say it's, uh, they can use your, your information. I mean, for example, if you're not carefully use it, maybe they can use your information later because it's open, you don't know what's the source inside. Only if you check everything. So this is one classification. We'll go to the next classification, which is based on uh, the function of the tools. So here we have I distinct tools or that's supporting, uh, supporting tools. These tools, are the first one is supporting tools this tool the first one which is just supporting tools means that is not will not go to execute the two execute uh, the test cases will not go for example uh, execute or generate the test cases or that's so here it just used as a supporting tools for example to manage the process to manage the test cases to track the bug 
So that's one it's support. So we have another one, which is automated testing tool, which is used for the testing purpose. So when we say testing means that it will help us to generate or do one part, one part of uh, the testing process. For example, generating the test cases, executing the test cases. So that's one it's uh, do some activities that is uh, as a core activity in that software testing. So we will go through this in a little bit in details. So we have, we start with the first one, for example, which is the eight testing can be also used as, for example, the first one is testing management tools. So this, uh, it can be, it can use just to manage the activities of the software testing, the process of the software testing from the beginning to the end. Uh, any tools can be used. For example, even if you want to, uh, some, some tools is not only for testing, just maybe also it's used for project management. So this is under this category, uh, just used to uh, uh, manage the activities of the software testing process. So the another one, which is static testing tools, you know what means statics. So, okay, you want, for example, review uh, and analyze the documents. So this, this uh, can be used to review and static uh, tools. Just also it's I, this is not uh, just, uh, for example, maybe Microsoft Word can be used. So this is also is some supporting tools too in the review and analyze the documents. Many of the test cases, uh, okay, you, uh, for example, you need to uh, store the information, store the information in somewhere, in some, uh, some storage. So this is also is managing uh, this. So guys, is all this or just uh, something, it will help you. It will not do the testing tools. It will not do the testing uh, process, but it just will help you to uh, maybe make the, the testing, it's easier. So analyze code coverage, and that's help you to evaluate the quality of your test. Uh, this is also some tools like uh, coverage tools. Uh, I think it's also one, it's in, it's, you can use it. I will show you, I will show you the coverage tools uh, in Eclipse, in Eclipse. Uh, this is also, it will not, it will not now this, uh, tools, for example, this kind of tools, not to execute the tools, but it just show you that, okay, you, your tools is, uh, or your test cases uh, cover most of the, or how many percentage cover in your application or in your code. So this tool will not execute, the tool will not execute uh, the test cases or the test, but just help you to, for example, as we should, to check the coverage, to manage your test cases, to store the test cases, to also to review or to uh, manage the process of the, of the software testing at all. So the second one, which is automation tools. Automation tools, for example, when we uh, design the test cases, design the test cases, many tools can be used for generating the test cases or also generating the test data. So maybe you know the difference between these cases. These cases not include, it's, it's include the test data, also the expected result. Uh, so it can, some tools can help you to execute or to generate the test cases. Also the another tools, which is help you to execute the, the, uh, the test itself. Okay. Also some, it's help you to record and execute the test script. Okay, automation reporting of the result and error. Automate reporting. Automate reporting. Also, some tools. After, for example, you execute that to execute the test, it will report. That's why we say automated. But if we just report, we have many reports. We have many reports, but that's when it's all done manually. All done manually. So, guys, in general, we have two kinds of which is important things. Maybe the last classification, which is uh, testing tools uh, based on the purpose of the tools. So we have some tools just help us to uh, do the process of the assisting, uh, testing activities. And some tools to do the testing itself, for example, executing the test cases, generating the test cases. So that one is automated tools. Uh, 